are your Yelp reviews part of your freedom of speech? We have a story here where a lady went to Yelp and exercised her right to leave a bad review. She went a little bit overboard and now a judge in Staten Island has fined her with a thousand dollars. Nick, 1K for leaving a bad review. What she write? What do you think? What, 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 what the hell did she write that was so bad? There's, there's millions of, of, of bad reviews all over. What, what, what's different? Here's the story. Miss Fanelli, Emily Fanelli, 67 years old from Staten Island, she hired this company called Mr. Sandless. Mr. Sandless prom promised to f do the flooring on her house. She didn't like the job. She went online, different websites. Okay. On the most scathing one, she went to Yelp and said, this guy, Matt, is garbage, is a liar. He's a scam. And he's scam. He said the word scam several times. And that's why the judge said, lady, your freedom of speech rights went out the window when you actually said scam. Why? Because when you say the word scam, you actually infer it to a crime. You are saying that this person committed a crime. And if oh. they haven't done so and they haven't been charged or found culprit of the crime, then you incur in libel. So she's facing a thousand dollar fine because of libel. That's not fair. She didn't know that. She was just pissed off because this guy did a shitty job. I don't know how shitty of a job it was. I'm not sure if he actually did a really bad job and it actually was a scam or she's just angry and one of those ladies who are really picky and mm -hmm. will actually take time out of their day to sit there and write and rant and to ruin someone else's business. I don't like that. But in this case, if he really did do a bad job and she really wasn't happy, her calling him a scam artist or whatever or calling his business mm -hmm. in general a scam is not grounds to, to make her pay a thousand dollars. She didn't know that. Maybe if she knew that, that that's what would incur by, by, by using one specific word scam, she obviously wouldn't have done it. Well, do you think I didn't she's know afraid? that. Do you think she's afraid? She's not afraid. She said, you judge and you company, you can have it. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna beat you guys. I'm not going down without a fight. Good. Yelp representatives came out and say, we are really disappointed with the decision of the judge. Yeah. This platform is made for freedom of speech. It's made for clients and servers and, and vendors to have a platform where they can actually reply to each other. And we're very sad to see that there's a vendor that actually decided to go and put a lawsuit instead of replying to a bad review. So the, what is the value of this technology, of this platform, the social platform that I find amazing? I think they're, they're great for people to know, have a clear idea and have better consumer yeah. rights. But what if a judge says, well, there's a line you cannot be too, you have to be regulated. Your right. speech needs to be regulated in order for you to express yourself freely. I right. think that's wrong. It is wrong, and I think she needs to go on Yelp and write a bad review about this judge as well. Because it's just judge. not fair. Staten Island Civil Court Judge Philip Stranieri, he's the one that decided that if you write a bad review and you use the word scam, there's a by-the-book technicality that says that you're actually inferring the committee meant of a crime and for that that's libel tough luck for this lady hopefully she wins the appeal that she already entered and we'll keep you informed with the update but before that let us know your thoughts below in the comment section and if you haven't please subscribe to the lib tv too